I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I've got some more curly hair products to review for you guys. This is the brand Amika. I have not tried any of their shampoo and conditioners yet, but I have two of their very new stylers made for curly hair. So in their curly hair line, we have the Amika Curl Corpse? Curl Corp? Do you pronounce the P? I don't know. But they have an enhancing gel, and they have a defining cream. As some of you may know, personally, I'm very much team gel lately, but I am willing to give the cream a try. And I was so excited to try both of these that I actually did a split test today. So, spoiler alert, one side of my hair has the curling cream and the other side has gel. But you gotta keep watching to know which side is what. When it comes to curly hair products, there's a couple things that I look for. One, I'm a sucker for cute packaging, and Amika has the cutest packaging of all time. They also are sulfate paraben and silicone free. Both of these products are Bianca approved because of that reason alone. And they're sold at Sephora or at loveamika.com, and they retail for $25 each. Each bottle you get 6.7 fluid ounces. And as of right now, there's only two products in their curly hair collection. I'm really big on stylers, so I don't really mind that I haven't had their shampoo and conditioner yet because the styler is what's going to make or break your hair. It's the last and final most important step. So I will be putting both of these to the test today. So let's rewind back to when I just got out the shower with freshly washed hair so I could show you how I applied both of these products. So I have both of my products right here. I have the Amika Defining Cream and the Amika Enhancing Gel. I biasly kind of feel like I'm gonna like the gel more, but we'll see. So let's start off with the defining cream. Ooh. Ooh, that smells really good. It has a very clean perfume scent to it. I really like it. So let's just do this half. And I'm going to smooth it in. It's not very thick. I feel like it's a nice lightweight cream. I probably compare it to the consistency of the Hmm, maybe the Diva Curl Super Cream. Ooh, but it feels very, very moisturizing. I think I'm gonna like this. So I'm gonna rake it through, make sure every curl gets some love, smoothing it into my hair, getting rid of that any frizz, and then you scrunch it back up. And for the other side, I'm gonna grab the Enhancing Gel. Ooh. This one doesn't have as strong of a scent. It almost smells like a nice, clean hand sanitizer consistency to it. It's not sticky. It's pretty watery, actually. Oh, interesting consistency. It really feels like hand sanitizer. Like that jelly feel. So here's the side with the gel, looking very shiny. And here's the side with the cream, very moisturized. So I'm excited to see how this dries. I'll be back in about an hour or so. And we're back. So now my hair is completely dry. So looking at both sides, I don't really see much of a difference, but I do think that the gel side is a little bit more shiny than the cream side. They both feel exactly the same. I thought that the gel would have more of like a harder cast to it, but there really isn't a cast at all and it's very soft. So for those of you that don't like any cast, you don't want any hold, you just want nice, soft, bouncy curls, you're gonna love these products. This is honestly how my hair usually looks on day one, no matter what product I use. It's always very flat, but I'm now gonna grab my diffuser and let's see if I can get some more volume and see how big I can make it look on day one. All right, that's a little better. I'm gonna shake it out. Try to get some more volume. My hair always looks better on day two and day three, so definitely follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee on Instagram and Snapchat so you can see how my curls look with these products on a better day. Ooh, wait a second. This is actually really nice. Okay, day one. 
Sometimes I just give up on my day one hair. I should give it a chance. Let me give you a full 360 on how my curls turned out. One half versus the other. I don't know how it looks in the back, so I'm sure you guys will tell me. But it feels nice. So here you go. Now that you see both sides officially like big and picked out, uh, my bangs definitely could be cuter if I would have applied the product like I usually do without having to split my hair in two sections for the sake of two different products. But I mean, they're all right. Um, let's look at each side. I really don't think I see a difference, do you? So in conclusion, they both work. I think they both work the same. It's just gonna be a matter of preference on if you like a cream or a gel. Now I might be weird with this one, but I do like when my gel leaves my hair a little bit crunchy. I do like that hold because I can break that cast and I can know that it's going to last throughout the week. This gel is giving me like zero hold but I'm still getting good volume. My curls are still very defined, very soft, and very fluffy. So for those of you that hate the hard casting gel, you're going to love the gel and the styling cream. The gel bottle claims that it's supposed to be weatherproof, but because there is absolutely no hold, I personally would be a little bit nervous to have this type of hair in human weather because it's just really, really soft. And when I have soft curls, I get nervous and I feel like it's not gonna last me throughout the week. So I definitely can get a really good day one hair if I want really big, fluffy, very, very soft and defined curls, no problem. But humid weather, I'd be a little nervous. But if you've tried these in humid weather, please leave a comment, let us know your experience. But I'm happy to say that there are more products for you guys to try that are sulfate, paraben, silicone free. And I wanna know what you guys think and if you've tried these yourself, Leave a comment, let us all know how well they worked for you and your curl type. And if you enjoyed this video, you gotta give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. So I better see you again next week, right here on Bianca Renee Today.